countries with higher victims with over 1.3 million affected. It happens in every state in Nigeria. Human trafficking is happening very close to us. Anyone can be a victim, be it rich, poor, whether in rural or urban centers. At least three victims of human trafficking die every hour due to torture, disease, hunger, and neglect. You need to observe and report human trafficking in your area. Volunteer or support anti-human trafficking project. To support our anti-human trafficking project, contact 0814-184-9616 or 0903-000-2362 or visit www.devatop.org. This message is brought to you by Devatop with support from Institute for War and Peace Reporting and ICIR in partnership with Human Rights Radio 101.1 FM Abuja. If you see us, It's Human Rights Radio 101.1 FM. Good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. It's one minute into the 10 o'clock hour. This Friday morning, I am Ruth Usman, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the program, Talk Cam. Good morning, Joseph. Good morning, Ruth. I am Joseph Osigwe, your host for today's program. Good morning, Nigeria. Good morning, our listeners and viewers. You are welcome to Talk Cam, a show against human trafficking on Human Rights Radio 101.1 FM Abuja. And today we have two powerful ladies now in the studio today. We have here... Dorothy Njamanze. Dorothy is the founder of Dorothy Njamanze Foundation. Dorothy? Thank you for having me. And uh, of course, I'm the um, 2018 Amnesty International Genetic wow, Award winner. 2018. That is mm -hmm. a great one. Thank you for, for that. As a human rights defender. No, I mean, thank you for everybody who yeah. saw me fit to be. That's a great one. An awardee. Congratulations. Congratulations on that. Then Thank you. We have you. here uh, Cynthia. Ifani Cynthia is the admin of Deva Top Center for Africa Development. Cynthia. Now do well for us, and Thank you so much for tuning today. Now do well. All right. So today we'll be talking on the role of community members in combating human trafficking. It's obvious that trafficking is spreading across different communities. First, I would like to you know ask uh, Dorothy. So what do you think? Do you think uh, community members are contributing to human trafficking, and how are they doing that? Well, human trafficking entails, you know, um, transactions with yes. human beings, and so it is humans that do it. I believe that it is human beings that yes. are the ones in the communities, and so it means human trafficking is a problem if human trafficking is a problem to humans. It means that it's a problem to communities yes. Yes. in which you predominantly find humans running. Um, so, yeah, communities have a, a role to play. Well, In fact, for every vice, it takes a village. That's what I say. Everybody has a role. The vulcanizer, the doctors and nurses, because somebody will come and complain of some kind of things. You can see yes. symptoms and you can report and you can talk them. Uh, the vulcanizer, you can see something happening in one place. You see the po, 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 whether they hit, not be your tire, they make noise. Now, uh, uh, another person, they shout every time. You can see something and you can talk um, the uh, whoever it is. I mean, every, the schools, yes. you know, you notice that uh, that 13 year old girl is no more coming to class the way she used to come to class before. You see something, you talk um, well, them. Right how, how does community contribute to human trafficking? Community contributes to human trafficking, particularly, like I said, because yes. it is humans that yes. live in the communities. Yes. And it is within these communities that humans uh, engage in transactional activities yes. of other human beings with other human beings. So they do it either locally or intra-community, yes. right? And intra-community could also be like uh, between a community in one country and a community in another country. Yes. So that's how humans... Uh, that, that's how communities are related to human trafficking yes. because you cannot say you can't define a community without humans and what <laughs> human trafficking that's a problem with you know a problem related to humans and so okay let me hear from Cynthia because I know in some communities you know there is this uh, uh, mentality that if you've not traveled out of the country nobody respects you but I think that is also part of the contribution I mean how they also contribute to trafficking but Cynthia what do you have to say about Okay. Come Make I actually and I'm the way it's supposed to be. Okay. According to the question we'll get on ground, our community members still they contribute to the spread of human trafficking. Yes. Number one, the culture of silence. Yeah. For the fact that 
Maybe say you see something they happen, you know, talk as Madam Dorothy talk. You self contribute for the spread of um, human trafficking for your community. Yes. Secondly, we praise people made on jand come back. They show around. The community will be like, if you never go, you don't know anything. So who don't go? Don't make and come back. Can they spend, get more respect. You understand? Get more respect. The community see them as as uh, a figure to be respected and not be so it's supposed to be. Some of these people they go there, you don't know where they go also over there. Some go push drugs, some go do sexual they go sexually exploit as we both they call a minister, they go do a kuna kuna, some of us go free on the stand up. But these are things maybe say some of us go no sin and waiting they happen. Some parents go even encourage like what we that was actually the same topic we had last week. Last week yes. It's related to when uh, community people go see say this now what they, they happen or this now what they sob. They go see they encourage their own picking, made a giant, say now then I win now. All these things contribute because but I'm there to just talk, say now we make up the community. Yes, of course. You understand? So if I can't thought, say, okay, on my own, I beg this country, I beg. We don't already get that mindset, say this country no feel good. I can't see person may just come from Jan. I go say, I beg, bros, just show me road okay, now. Okay, now we're getting there because I think it's more of a mindset thing yes, at this point. Yes, it is. It, it, it's a kind of orientation that many communities have. So how do we get to the root of that issue to ensure that, you know, we are not thinking it that way, that uh, you have to leave the soil of... Uh, Nigeria Maybe before something good can happen. Uh, you have to travel abroad. You have to have lived abroad for years, you know, before. How do we change that? Okay, sometimes uh, in th this search of gre for greener pastures, it's not always in the Yankee or yeah. in the abroad. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes uh, at, um, you're going from uh, uh, to Obama to Owere. I'm yes. telling you, from local communities, from, from, from local government yeah. to, to the city, city. To, yes. yeah, to the big cities. Or from Owere to Lagos, mm. or from Maraba to so, Wuse yes, to or Metema or something. Yes, that kind of thing. So a lot of times, let's remember one thing: children are anybody from 18 under 18 years old, yes. right? And uh, labor laws are strict on engaging children. Children, yeah. that is the age when children are supposed to be in school. Yes. At best, they can be helping out with apprenticeship you know, during like af after school work. hours. Yeah. Now, with domestic work, that thing that your children are not doing, the other person is not supposed to be doing it. That is the measurement. Yeah. To know who is exploiting who. The one your children cannot do, the other person cannot do. That's the measure. Because a lot of people now, for community now, it, the next thing is, um, I bet will help me, or make my picking for go school like your own. They may be picking for go to school like your own. Okay, fine. The person is living in the same house, but he's not going to the same quality of school like your children. You know, your children, they, this and that, primary, Same. private, and the rest. The other one is where they the uh, governments and mm -hmm. all the other schools. You understand? Which is not a problem. As long as education is there, mm -hmm. that's one thing. But now, you find out that that one will not even go to school early, early. because that one has to wash the clothes of your own children oh, or, make, or prepare lunch before that one goes to school. All those kind of things. Are you uh -huh. not, not even going to school that day? That yeah. one, trafficking day. And then, there's another one. Many of the times, some people send their children to go and help other people for greener pastures. Do you know that there are sometimes when you get to the place, they say anything we mother tell you to do, no matter the, you know, matter Make anything you do, them. and then when you come, they tell them that look, anything my children want, you do it, including so they help with sexual activities. Mm -hmm. And the day they you not do, they will beat you. And because of fear of you know going back to the village where it will be like say they're not, yes. uh, yeah, they'll just they, they enjoy them and all of those kind of things. So you see how I say it is a community. And when, when you notice that kind of thing in your neighbor, what do you do? You, you, talk talk you talk calm. You talk calm. You talk calm. Yes. You talk calm. If you talk calm, you know, people are saying they're not hear you. You shout them. Well, if you try to talk calm, it will look like bad belly. It's important. Yes. Yes. It's important. Right silence. Yeah. That I want us to so now silence. have so this you thing. You don't want to be the enemy in that community. It's so a like, lie. Oh, I'm just going to keep it's quiet. It's not true. Everybody, henceforth, it's your duty to be the busybody. Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> most, check what thing they happen for your area. Because that's the way you keep mouth. It happened for you. You shut up mouth. Say, you, you not be your business. Mm. You not know the kind. You not know as the monster they grow. You go grow, consume you and the other person mm. one time. 
You go to say uh, before he bites two people, you go down run now lie. What if he's turned neck your side the first place? Mm. You understand? Don't promote criminality. The okay. earlier we start acting against yes. the interest of you know thriving criminality, the best for our communities. Okay, so let's come down to the family because we know a lot of family pressure. People say peer pressure, but we know that so many people are facing family pressure. What do you have to say about the influence of family in it in human trafficking? Okay. Um, if they come on, say, now family, as we know, now it be the basic, or it was now be the basic unit of a community or a society. Yes. And everything, whether picking go good, whether picking go bad, it starts from the family. Yes. It starts from uh, the upbringing. What do they call upbringing? How you say, mold your picking, grow up. How you say, train them. So all these things contribute. Like the picking going to grow. You can't see for community, say, ah, um, normal, there are some community that doesn't even encourage children to actually develop effectively. Yes. Local communities that don't have um, uh, um, basic amenities, like my bring them now, so say they don't get basic amenities, they don't get good roads, they don't get uh, water, they don't get good education system, yes. they don't get medical uh, facilities but, yes. and all that stuff. And every family or every parent, one may they are picking good past them. That one, they understand the book. Yes. We understand the fact. But say you can't get that mindset you know, only when you're picking go big city. Or only when you're picking stay with your sister, maybe they big city. Or when you're picking go, because the last case we did, uh, before this previous case we were holding for this um, Tokam, as a result of this Tokam show, the boy was actually sent to follow auntie, go Abuja, from the eastern part of the Nigeria, country. Yeah. And... He don't come Abuja na Noma, the tell and say go go school. And it wasn't even the first, he not be even the first picking whether auntie don't bring come Abuja before. Mm. If he bring that come, he go use them for the meantime. Like how many years? From the same family. From, <laughs> no, different families like that for East. He go go there, go the adopt for our own community for village. Mm. Go they bring the same go help the family train mm. these children. They go come here because they do normal uh, ask me, that's boy job for her. Children no go feed feed them. Mm. You know, if you carry them, go to school. So one of our volunteers called the Touchlight, this case, come look the case. She they stay around the, the same community with her. Come report to Devatop. Devatop can't take charge with Napti. Now they come into reunite the picking back to the family. Mm. But when we call the papa later, we call need to educate the papa and reorient the papa because on a normal time, we need to tell them. And can I say, we know if we finish awareness. Without getting the family. You understand? Without the family, we need to first of all create that mindset. Say, you feel, even if not Gary, you see soak. If you get ready, the picking feel learn one or two skills. Mm. Develop this picking. Say, on you, and go feel earn a living. Even if you know if you send them go school. But not be saying go come city like this. You don't know what these children they go through. Some children don't go through abuse just because of this uh, mm, uh, yes. family pressure. Say, ah, go stay with your uncle. Even me, on my own, I have a sibling that stayed with my uncle. And we knew what she went through in the hand of my uncle. So, you know, there is easy at all. Say, you encourage your picking, your picking, go stay with also take care of some perfectly they would so always it's be actually, the good ones. Yes, they mm. were. So on your but own, I the think parents. another thing, too, the parents, in, in a bid to try to uh, create this, uh, what, which word do I use now? You know, to, to put that feeling in the, in the child's mind to mm -hmm. want to strive to get, you know, better things. They want to make comparisons. And then they start yeah. telling you, can't you see this can't person? Can't you be like this see? person? You know, people be like this person. Yeah, see, this person. That, okay. yeah that has okay. a Let's huge see, effect have, too. I have a solution. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Since it is a search of greener pastures, hmm. yes. I'm happy this uh, program is happening at this particular time of Nigeria's life. Yes. If your city, if your village is not as good as greener pastures, but use your PVC well. I'm telling you. <laughs> Use your PVC well. Okay. okay. So there, there we go back yes. to what government is doing or not doing. Do you know why? Do you know? It's not, who is the government? Definition of the government. Government for the yeah. people, by the people, and of the people. For the people, yeah. Now, how many times did the people feature in that definition? Three mm -hmm. times. That means that 
The people citizen. are the government. The office of the citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria yes. is the highest office in, the, in Nigeria. Yes. Meanwhile, the highest political office is the office of the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Nigeria. So, what we have permitted is what is happening. If you say you want your Peking, see better school, do they go? You say you want your Peking, do they go hospital? You say if Katakata is your area, you want make police respond to our fast pass because for our village, the distance between police station and where your pilot is day is too far. You use your PVC well. well. If in your village, things like the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act, yes. things like the Child's Rights Act are not domesticated, but use your PVC, drive everybody well. where they're there Thank now. You, Come on. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be going for a short break. Please stay tuned to Human Rights Radio 101.1 FM Abuja. Did you know that human trafficking is the trade of humans for forced labor, sexual exploitation, domestic work, and others? Nigeria is among the countries with highest number of victims, with over 1.3 million affected. It happens in every state in Nigeria. Human trafficking is happening very close to us. Anyone can be a victim, be it rich, poor, whether in rural or urban centers. At least three victims of human trafficking die every hour due to torture, disease, hunger, and neglect. You need to observe and report human trafficking in your area. Follow Tia or support anti-human trafficking project. To support our anti human trafficking project contact 0814-184-9616 or 0903-000-2362 or visit www.devatop.org this message is brought to you by devatop with support from institute for war and peace reporting and icir in partnership with human rights radio 101.1 fm abuja if you see us Yeah, welcome back. You are still listening to Tokam's show against human trafficking on Human Rights Radio 101.1 FM Abuja. And we're still talking on the role of community members in combating human trafficking. You can join the conversation. You can call us on 090 Interesting. Dorothy, well done for that. <laughs> All right. You can call our studio number as well 081 89 So, um... All right. Hello. Your name and where you're coming from? Yeah. I need a calling from Abuja. Okay. I'm calling a respect of, like, uh, can we call on them if we have a case of a domestic staff working for what she's up to 20 days of age? Yes. What, uh, uh, is there anything like that? Is there anything she's being maltreated and being uh, overlevered? Yeah. But in, in the country, they say that if the staff is up to 20 there is a, a, a no, nothing against. But when we start being maltreated, what do we do? Did she say so, the person is up to 20? He's up to 20 years. And she's up to 25 years. 25 years. Is she and paid? Sir, what do you say? Is she being paid for her services? Yeah, she's being paid. Yeah, she came through an agency, a very, a very reliable agency. So I asked her interview that she came to an agent. So they monitored her, but she never came up. Before. Yes. Okay. okay, so the answer is very simple. If you get a job and the terms and conditions are not favorable to you, please quit. If you are not a tree, you can move. Even trees can be uprooted. The feet come out tree, like the feet cut down tree. So she's not a tree. She can move from there. There are other places where it's going to be favorable. Yes. Yes. I mean, because it's not everywhere. As a, as an, as a, somebody who is employable, it's not everybody's terms and conditions that are favorable to you. Yes. If you want to get a house, you will first check waiting your landlord talk, Before and you then. cannot come back by 10, 10 p.m. You say for on top waiting my house where I pay. Mm -hmm. If it is not favorable to you, please, you are not a tree. And Move. I want to talk something. 
For the fact that you did pay person money, it don't mean say you get right to abuse the person. Yeah. That makes some people no know. You did pay person five million, even if they pay person one million, you don't get right to abuse, abuse the person, person fundamental human rights. That's yeah. all. I mean, no, you're not paying for abuse. You are paying for services for to service. render. Yeah. So if abuse enter, crime don't enter. Yeah. The nearest police station is your best friend. If you don't know how to reach the Devatop is here for you. All right, so you can still call the number 081-8999-1011. So, uh, or, okay. okay, you can also call 090-30-0023-2. So, um, Cynthia, what did you talk about? What would you say about the issue where we have victims after they have been reunited to their family? because of family pressure, you know, they have this uh, stigmatization they face in the community. You think that is also a way that what uh, contributes to human trafficking as well? It joined the matter when they contribute because most of our, our loved ones made their abroad. They could tell you, say, why do no one come? Nobody say they waiting for the experience on that side, they yeah. sweet them. Now, because if they come, the way their people go to accept them. Sorry, we have a call. Right. Okay, the way their people go to accept them, even to their own immediate family, they'll be like, where dollar when you bring? Where you when you bring pounds when you bring? You don't bring anything. Even the community people, they will even the way they go, they see you for streets. Even you know go feel who come out. Now make some of them they well, shy to even come out. Hello? Yeah, hello, your name and where you're coming from. Hello. Can you reduce the volume of your radio? Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. What's your question? Okay. Please, don't be annoyed. What I'm calling for is not about what you're going to do. Yeah, can you call another time? Okay. Oh, you can call the Human Rights uh, Radio Hotline. Okay. All right, then I guess uh, you have to call in at another time because uh, the program for now is Talk Come. Talk Come. And we're looking at the effects of uh, human trafficking on the communities. And Sorry, okay. she said something about stigmatization. Mm -hmm. right? We have too many laws. You see that VAP Act where they talk about? Yes. You follow protect people. And then another thing, if the money to start your life again for another city in Nigeria, they're a lot cheaper than today, the Yankee or the anywhere. You. So you must not be in your village or around your people. You can start, you know, from any other parts. Nigeria has to be so... Okay, so plenty. generally, movement is not like it, there's anything bad, bad from you wanting to move from your village. Oh, no, nothing. No, no, there's and nothing bad at all. But then it's sometimes just you feel being like it's exploited. Difficult. Yeah, it's difficult for you to do that as an individual, and so you need someone's help. And then this person comes and says, oh, I can get you to the city, I can get you to yes. Lagos or any other big city in Nigeria. And you're like, okay, it's a good idea, let's go. But then you do not know what's underlining. Yes, and some of these people, they, they, they use this medium they paint the thing, say if you come sit, then go help you, secure mm. job, do this one. But basically, I think one, one thing that I think personally is missing always is this information. Telling you. To empower people with this knowledge about how these things happen. Because it's yes. not all the time they present it to you as it truly yes. is. They paint it and make that, it look, you know, as if it's very easy to True, and true. And, and that's why, why we say awareness not be come up for the picture. Yes. We go see the shout out, and I make them we get this talk and show. But, we educate but people. There is 